yes, yes, yes. This is perfection. Perfect. Before I wash my hair and get ready to film the actual tutorial, I just want to show that it's been eight days since I did my previous stretching, straightening video where I showed you how I straightened and stretched my hair with very low heat. Eight days later, I still love the way my hair looks. My hair is definitely overdue to wash, but I still like this look. It's still going good. I could keep it like this if I wanted to, and it gives me a really good break in between to do these styles. And if I wanted to prolong this and still make it look good, I simply just add a little bit of oil to my ends. I I brush my hair out and do a two strand twist like this before bed, which is much better than doing the braid that I did in that video. This has to go today. We're gonna wash it and get this flawless wavy look that I've been dying to do. Once again, we are here for another hair transformation. In case you can't tell, this has been the year of trying things out and I hope that you join me. And today I'm even more excited because we're gonna be going from curly to wavy and this time around it'll be heatless so absolutely no heat unless you want to so good morning good afternoon and good evening wherever you are <laughs> let's get to it today i'll be using these wave formers these are the cheaper versions that you can find on amazon they're very inexpensive and this is in my amazon store which is linked down below and I'm very familiar with this method because many years ago I did a video on curl formers which are very easy the results are beautiful so if you ever want to get heatless curls let's say you have straight hair or you have wavy hair and you want more of that spiral I highly recommend curl formers because you can do that in a heatless way the curls are perfection so no matter what hair type you have you can create that nice spiral curl which is nice for special occasions so that it looks like you used like a curling iron in your hair even though you did not. And I actually did a similar look to the curl formers for my wedding day and I did it myself and my hair was beautiful on my wedding day. And I'm very proud because I did that myself. Back when I had my wedding, wave formers did not exist. And just as a disclaimer, the brand curl formers created wave formers that I was not aware about. So I kind of wish I would have purchased those and this one. The waveformers from the Curl Formers brand is definitely more expensive. These are more affordable. Even though I've never used these before, I think it'll pretty much be the same. So I just wish I would have bought both to compare with you guys. There's 30 pieces in this, which I hope is enough for my hair. I wasn't sure, but we're gonna make it work. And the length I believe is a 20 inch length, I think. Let me verify that. All right, just verified on my Amazon order. It's 30 pieces, 21 inches long. So it has these sticks and you just kind of put the sticks all together so that it can elongate. I think these two are extras. Like with any style, you wanna start with clean, damp hair so you can moisturize it before creating the style. The application to these waveformers is the exact same as the curl formers with this long stick that you attach to your hair and then pull it through. To prep my hair on damp hair, I'm applying my Frizz Fix Serum by Bondi Boost. This is just a good way to prep your hair the same way you would prep your skin before moisturizer. Reduce any frizz that may happen. Next up, I'll be applying the Innersense Quiet Calm Curl Control Cream. And this is just a leave-in styling cream that I love and it's very hydrating. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of this first on the ends. And I highly recommend that if you have dry problem areas that you know with your own hair has given you problems in the past, like maybe it's prone to getting frizzy because it's drier, make sure to place extra attention to those types of areas so that you have the most hydrated, even, and moisturized look with the end results. For me, that is the back of my hair right here. Now I'm just taking this wide tooth comb and making sure that that's pretty much distributed everywhere. I'm gonna section my hair in a way where there's not gonna be any visible part on the back of my head. I do want a part in the middle, so I'm gonna do this one pretty evenly. One right here. So I have two pieces in the front and I'm lining three pieces in the back so that this middle portion right here in the back is not with like a middle part in between. I'm gonna add some water because I'm treating this just like a curly style. You don't want your hair to be too dry or soaking wet because if it's too dry, it can dry frizzy and you want it to be more wet and smooth when you apply these. And I know a lot of us will be tempted to not do this on very wet hair because we think it's gonna dry faster, especially if we're doing this heatless. Before I start applying the waveformers, I'm gonna use my Innersense I Create Hold Styling Gel. This is a very flexible gel that will create that hold for me and I think it'll create a really nice shine after we're done. And this is obviously the big version of this gel. I got the 32 ounce because I love this 
this gel and I use it so often. But all their other products are like standard size, like this one, it's just 10 ounce. And before I apply the gel on my hair, I'm gonna take the Wonder Balm by Evolve H. This is just like a silky serum oil made for curls, but it creates like this really nice shine that I love. And I haven't used this in quite a while, so I'm gonna give it a shot now. And I'm only taking a little bit for this section before I apply the gel. So it's the log method. I don't typically say that, but yeah, it's pretty much the log method. Now for the gel. So what you basically do is take the stick, put it inside the former like this, leave it on there, make sure it's detangled first. Then we're gonna twist it so that we can get this piece through it. We have to twist the hair right here, get it through. We basically pull the hair right through. Boom, hair is in. Whenever I do this section, I'm adding a little tiny bit of gel to my fingers like this, just to rake it through. And making sure it's detangled. Twist the hair, bring the piece through. So it looks like I have about an inch and a half to reach 21 inches of hair. All right, I think with this right here, I'll have two pieces that I'll do. As I said, I'm applying a little bit of gel with each section. All right, I've already showed you how to apply it and how this is going, so I'm just gonna fast speed through this part. So I can already tell these 30 pieces are enough. Unless you have a lot more hair than I do, then of course, get a little more. But for me and my fine hair, I think 30 pieces are enough already. So I have four pieces right here in the back. And I used the blue and green, not that it matters. The colors do not matter, they're all the same. You could just put them on at your own preference of whatever color alignment you wanna do. But I've got the two greens over here and the bottom blues just to keep consistency when I look at them and when I'm applying them. And all I have left is these two front pieces. And I still have four, eight, 12 pieces. So I could make the sections smaller in the front, which is a really good idea actually, because I do want the back to be more elongated. Front will have more separation. So here's a little tip when applying these. Once you put the raw in, leave it towards the edge like this. And once you have the hair clamped in, you do want to squeeze with one hand the mouth of the wave former so that it's easier for your hair to kind of go through as you're pulling with the other hand right here, pulling it through. You want to squeeze the sides like this so that your hair has better room to go through. And this way it won't get stuck as you're pulling and you're not being too harsh on your roots. The way it looks is insane but I love it at the same time. It's really cool. Just like curl formers, except it's wavy. Now, because I decided to film this video and apply this on my head later in the day, it is eight o'clock at night. I am not gonna have time to show you guys the results today and I'm going to have to sleep with this in my hair to be able to allow it to set properly and show you proper results tomorrow. I've done flex rods in the past and I've slept in them many times and they are super uncomfortable, almost impossible to sleep comfortably in them. But I remember doing curl formers and just thanking God that I found something that is way more comfortable to sleep in because they are flexible. They're not very hard on your head. They're not pulling at my scalp. And I'm so excited to see the results. This is gonna be so funny when my husband sees me. I'm gonna have a late dinner today. It's eight o'clock. Go have dinner and then put the kids to bed and then have some TV time with my hubby and watch one of our favorite new shows, which is Attack on Titan. It's on Hulu. It's a Japanese show, I believe, but it's dubbed in English. And tomorrow I will show you guys the lovely results. Okay, buenas noches. I'm back in this chair and I'm so ready to take the stuff off my head. And like I said yesterday, this is a lot more comfortable than sleeping with flex rods because flex rods are much more stiff and bulky, but you can still feel it while you, while you sleep, you know? So it's obviously better to sleep with nothing on your head. It's a much more peaceful to sleep with nothing. So while I was laying on my head, I can adjust myself to lay comfortably where it's like in position and it's not bothering me. But then while I'm sleeping, if I move in any way, it wakes you up because you have to be cautious of how you lay with it. So I do wake up every time I have to move. But anyway, let's take this off because I'm so ready. It's 11 a.m. so I've had this for quite a while. I tied it with a hair tie, with like a big hair tie like this. 
And the removal process is just like the curl formers. You squeeze the mouth in order to pull it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. The closure on top is really tight, like I said, which is a good thing because it secures on the head and no matter how you move it, it doesn't just come off very easily. Which is why to remove it, you have to squeeze the mouth and then pull it instead of just pulling it like this from the ends, which could be too much on the scalp and you could pull your hair out. Here is the first one. Wow. Really pretty. It literally looks like I used heat on my hair. Wow, so pretty. I'm obsessed already and it's so soft. The ones by my ear feels so good to take off because that's the one that was bothering me the most while I was sleeping. Okay, this one came out a little bit frizzy. I probably did not brush it properly. I probably forgot to brush this one before putting it in. This is probably one that I just missed. That knot right here is bothering me. I really don't want that to get worse. So I'm gonna try to address it now. Here, I'm gonna take a little bit of my oil from yesterday and just fix that section, because that's gonna bother me. Just on that little piece. Okay, all right. That's all right. Wow, just wow. This is super duper pretty. Let me take a second. This is perfection. Perfect. Perfect. With my hair type, I can definitely separate it a little more. And I'm very tempted to do so. I'm so glad that my bangs are growing and it's more towards the bottom here. It looks really pretty and stretched. Got a little bit of length, got a little bit of shrinkage. It's the perfect wave. It looks so pretty to the back. Can you bring it to the front? It's beautiful. My hair feels soft. It's just that this wouldn't be a process that I would wanna do often, not even weekly. I would save something like this for when I'm invited to a wedding, for example, some type of formal event, any special occasion, then I would do this, but I would not do it at night again. The only reason I did it at night is for filming purposes. There's lights, there's setups to be involved here. I have to plan things out when it comes to filming. If this was just like a regular day and I wanna to go to an event and have a nice hairstyle, I would just wake up in the morning at my regular time, six or seven in the morning or even eight in the morning and put these on on freshly washed hair the same way I did do my morning ritual with this on my hair. So it's on for at least two to three hours air drying. Right before removal, just to secure that everything is dry, I would take my blow dryer and run it through my hair like for about half an hour before removing it. And I think it'll be amazing for any event, any special occasion, or if you just want a low maintenance hairstyle for a week. So I'm gonna rock this this week. See how it goes as the days go on? Because this is kind of like a straightened wave look for curly hair. For us curlies, in order to get this look without waveformers, we would have to straighten our hair first and then create the waves. Which is what like irked me a little bit in my previous video, the video where I said I straightened my hair. There are some people that I am so sure did not watch the video. They just looked at the thumbnail and looked at the title and decided to comment before watching the video and they were like, oh, your hair isn't straightened. This isn't straightened hair, ma'am. Watch the video first. You will see that I straightened my hair first. Anyway, that's just a little rant from what bothered me in the last video. I'm pretty sure that those people who commented that don't have curly hair themselves. And they don't realize that in order for a curly haired person to get something like this, or like I did in my last video, yeah, it's not pinned straight. But you have to straighten the hair first before getting that look. And I love that I can do this without having to use heat in my hair. As you know, I'm very cautious of damage. I don't want to cause any stress or damage to my hair. And I only paid like 20 bucks for it. It's on my Amazon store in the link down below if you want to check it out. I have a curly section in my Amazon store. I will also say that the results factor based on what products you decide to use. The products I used today were very softening. They were very moisturizing for my hair type. It's products that I'm already used to using. It's products I already know I love, so I didn't experiment much with the products. Depending on your hair type, you can use whatever you want. You can use a gel that has a stronger hold if you want more of a defined wave. If you want this look to hold up longer because of your hair type, then yeah, use a stronger hold. Or maybe hairspray your hair after you take out each piece on removal. And if you wanna see how this wears throughout the week as I keep rocking it this week. I post way more on my Instagram than I do on here. And lastly, before I go, please subscribe to my channel. You're watching this video anyway, so press that subscribe button down below. 
And thank you so much for watching, whether you're new or old here. I appreciate you so much. And I can't wait to show you another look in the next video. Bye, sunshines. I'm wearing my Selena shirt today, which is so funny. The other day I saw the most hilarious, hilarious little skit on Instagram regarding Selena, specifically Yolanda Salvador's release from prison here in Texas.